So yesterday, the last ever Grand Tour special released on Amazon Prime. And a bit of background, I started watching Top Gear sometime in the early 2010s, 2011, 2012, thereabouts. I'm not a car enthusiast by any stretch. I don't drive. I appreciate a good looking car. And whenever a Ferrari passes me on the street, I go, ooh, that's a nice car. But that's about it. It was never about the cars. And you're going to hear this from a lot of people, but Top Gear, the Grand Tour, it was never about the cars. I enjoyed hearing their knowledge and enthusiasm about cars in the history of motoring, but it is the dynamic between Clarkson, Hammond and May that has always thoroughly entertained me through all of Top Gear and all of the Grand Tour. And I've enjoyed most of the specials where they go to some exotic country and do a big road trip adventure across said country in beat down battered cars and going over the rough terrain and seeing some spectacular locations. My favourite special across all of Top Gear and Grand Tour is probably the Bolivia special where they're in the Amazon rainforest and they go across death road and whatnot. That one just sticks out in my mind as being the most memorable and the most entertaining. So with all that said, I sat down last night and watched the Grand Tour, One for the Road, the final time that Clarkson, Hammond and May are working together, their last big motoring adventure together. And the one word I can use to describe this special is nice. I appreciated how they didn't try to make it this big bombastic finale with Jeremy Clarkson shouting power and just blowing stuff up all over the place. The three of them meet up in Zimbabwe with cars they've always wanted to own and they just go for a nice drive, well a mostly nice drive because there's a lot of rough terrain that Hammond especially struggles to you know traverse in his car but they just drive across the country, see some incredible landscapes and locations in Zimbabwe and they just enjoy the drive and there is some classic elements of old top gear that they throw in there like they buy some bolts to transport their cars across a lake when they take the wrong road, they go north instead of west. That was fun. There's also that amazing sequence where they convert their cars into trains and drive them on the railway. That was a great throwback to one of my favourite Top Gear challenges back in the day. I really enjoyed that. And of course, along the way, they have the classic Clarkson, Hammond and May chemistry. They bicker, they debate their cars. When one of them breaks down, they just leave them behind, you know, Top Gear tradition. It has everything that you've come to love about a Clarkson, Hammond and May road trip motoring special, but not in excess. It's done in a way where you have a smile on your face the entire time you're watching it, because they know it's the last time, you know it's the last time. So the entire time you're watching it, you just have that bittersweet feeling, because you just know that this is the last one, the last drive that you're going to take vicariously with Clarkson, and Hammond and May and again it's nice, it's leisurely and it's just good to hang out with these guys one last time. As cheesy as it sounds, I know it sounds a bit sappy for what it is but I mean they've been doing this for 22 years and they've done lots of specials, they've gone on lots of drives and there's been lots of really funny moments, great moments, really good television over those years so Forgive me for getting a bit sentimental talking about the last time seeing these three driving cars across an exotic country together. It was just nice to watch it one more time. I love the way they chose to end the special on the island in the Botswana salt plains where the very first Top Gear special took place. And it's cut in between the current footage and the old footage from the Top Gear special in Botswana, showing them in the same place, younger, with the different cars. Richard Hammond's Oliver is in the footage. And the going up the rocks is cut in between the old footage and the new footage and it just feels like a very poetic ending and ending it with Jeremy Clarkson just unplugging his microphone, shaking hands with the two of them and then you see the overhead shot and I thought to myself, oh they're going to drive off in separate directions aren't they? And yeah, they do. And uh, I got a bit of a lump in my throat, I'm not going to lie to you. I sure am going to miss the three of them going on these big drives together. But they're going to continue on doing their own thing. James May is going to carry on hopefully making weird sandwiches in his basement kitchen. And Jeremy Clarkson's got his farm show. So they're still going to be doing bits and entertaining us. But the three of them together on these big drives, yeah, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss seeing the new Grand Tour special coming out every six months or so. Clarkson, Hammond and May. Thank you very much for many years of laughs and entertainment.